and good morning. I'm uh, making a little video here on how do I uh, collect a line in Zone 3. Uh, uh, there's a need sometimes we want to, uh, well, actually very often, we want to find an edge or uh, a line. And uh, so how do I do that? And um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a couple different ways we can do it. Uh, a couple different tools. All these will be automatic measurements. I don't have the, I do not have the part aligned, so uh, this is just a basic skill. How do you measure a line? Uh, so first of all, what we'll do is we will tell Zone Three what do I want to measure? Well, I want to measure a line. Okay, um, and the tool that we're going to use at this time, we'll start out just using our strong edge tool, our strong edge finder. What the strong edge finder does is it finds uh, a point along an axis. So I'm going to set my lighting at about six, but between 50 and 60 percent. And uh, what I have here is, uh, let me change that contrast. Uh, we have a, this is our, our strong edge finder. Right now it's set to look along this axis right here. Um, you know, so if we look at it, you know, you see that arrow right there? That means it's looking along this axis. If I wanted to change it to a look along this axis, I would just click and hold. Now it's looking this way. Um, what I do want to do is I want to kind of make it a nice long edge here so I can find that edge. So to find a point along this edge, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to make sure my arrows are going this way. And then I just kind of set it kind of close I don't ever put it right on there and I just click where it should go and it moves over there and it collects a point right here okay uh, I could move down and I click again and I click again <laughs> there we go collect another point I'm gonna move down a little more Click right there. Each time it, each time I click in the box, it collects a point. So I've collected four points. If I wanted to check it and see how they go, I just hit the run button, and here it's collecting those points. And notice that over in the edge here, we are uh, a line is being, a line is being, uh, being, being drawn. Okay, so that's one way you could collect. Uh, the nice thing about the edge finder is that it gives a full field of view. If you're looking for a nice clean edge, works very well for backlit and edges. Um, moving to the, let's look along the bottom edge here. Now, this is probably the one that's a little more common that you'll use, uh, but we're going to measure along the bottom edge of the fast start part. Um, and once again, we're going to tell it that we want to measure a line. This time, we're going to choose our feature finder. Okay, so our feature finder is a um, it's a tool that will really finds uh, arcs, circles, and lines very well. Looking for a dark to light contrast. And um, you know, so what I want to do is I'm going to measure along this whole edge. I want to get that measure that whole edge. And what I'll do is. I'll just come along and I'm going to click and hold the left mouse button down and drag it over and what happens is it, it collects some points. Now some of you may have less points or not. Um, before I continue on, I want to set this finder to look the way we want. So in a version 12, we're going to go back to a line click right there so now that gets us into the point cloud that we are that we are um, working on so what we can do is we can look at it and right now we have a roughness of about 45 percent you know it's a pretty rough it's not really a rough edge um, but you know anywhere you know depending on how rough the edge is uh, I can change that and I can just kind of click in there and it'll change it's kind of a remeasure um, the number of samples I have is 21 set. Uh, if I wanted to increase that, I'll just turn it up to 219. 
Uh, now I got a lot of points, actually 75, but um, more is not always better. So I'm just going to kind of set it right in that. Eh, there's 12. That's a pretty good number there. And then the strength, I could probably turn the strength up to about a little higher. I mean, it's it's a, it's a pretty strong edge. It's got a good dark to light. Notice the arrows are coming uh, dark to light. Getting good point collection. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue, and I want to get the rest of the line. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm in this point cloud right here with the yellow. Now I'll click to the to move along, and now I'm just gonna move the joystick. And I'm just gonna do it again. Collect another. Now notice it's got the same settings that I just had. Extends the line over here in the model window. I'm gonna clue cruise on over. Pick another one up. Picking up some good points there, of course. A nice training park works nice and clean. And at the very end here, we, yeah, I got five or six here. That's pretty good. I think I'll be happy. With it. I like to always run it one time before it's just to make sure it works. And it kind of moved along there, and we're good. Got this point cloud. It's pretty good. I'm just going to hit save. Okay. So that's measuring the line. Now, uh, using the feature finder. Now, here's another uh, another way we can measure a line. I'm going to go to the top edge here. Uh, another way uh, that when you've got a really long edge, this also works for circles, by the way. Um, my lighting's set pretty good. I could tell. I could. Uh, you know, do a little two-step here where we're going to use, uh, we're going to set our parameters and we're going to generate a path. Now, this is done, you can you use generate path a lot with uh, with a CAD model, but you can also use it without a CAD model. And so, uh, I'll kind of show you how to, how to generate a path along that line. So, here we go. We're going to click line, and I'm going to use my point entry tool, point entry target. And so, here, I, I kind of want to run my line from right there. And then I'm going to scoot all the way to the end here, right there. So I told that this line, my point entry is going to go from there to there. And actually, you can see the, it's uh, shown the, the measured line, the actual value up here. Uh, but you know, if I was to run this, I'd have to, I'd have to actually click there, and I really don't want that. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go over to point entry, um, and this is just one of the ways you could do this. So I'm going to right click on point entry. And I'm going to move down to where it says replace all finders. So now it's giving me the option I can change, replace the sensor, I can replace the zoom, or I can replace the finder. And that's the one I want to work on. So right now it's a point entry target. I'm just going to drag down to my favorite focus uh, feature, uh, well, focus feature finder, say that really fast, the feature finder. And I'm going to click OK. So now the path generation. Uh, window pops up here we have the uh, linear strategy which you know you can kind of see what's happening here it's moving it's going to collect one two three four six points um, and I could you know if I was to turn that off I, now it's collecting a whole bunch it doesn't need to do more than a few uh, I can adjust the spacing right now I got it set at five thousandths of an inch or I can uh, you know I can also distance from the start I can increase that as you see that, well, it kind of disappears there because it's inches, but uh, from the start moves, distance from the end, it moves. Um, reverse path, if I want to switch it, go the other way, so now it's going to collect this way. Um, and, um, you know, as, well, if I've kind of got my parameters set, I'll just click Generate Path, and notice it generates a point cloud here for me. I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to hit run, and let's take a look at what happens. Oh, of course, uh, you know, when I grabbed it, it looks like that the, all of my lines are going the wrong way. Um, uh, happens a lot. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just highlight all these here, and uh, I'll make sure you get one more here. Highlight your point cloud, and we're going to swap the selected directions. Hit there, make sure they're going dark to light. And now we should be able to pick them all up there. Okay. Anytime you path generate without CAD, you know there's a good chance that your your um, your arrows will be the wrong wrong way. And uh, 
but that's three different ways you can uh, measure lines. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks. Bye.